Hello family, welcome to Precious Home. I hope you all are doing good. Happy summer. And I'm sure every one of us is enjoying our holiday and enjoying the sunshine. Today, I'm trying to do a mixed herbal oil to infuse them, okay? And I'm using them for our cream and for our soap. So I want to share it with you guys. There's no need to talk much. Let us get into the video. Okay. The first herb I'm putting here is lavender. This is lavender. Lavender is very, very good for our skin. So I use my hand to measure it, okay? And because I'm using it, no need for me to be doing one, one, different, different, to do them one, one. So I, I, I prefer to mix all of them together. Like this one, I mix rose. Here is calendula. Let me use all of them. Calendula is full of antifungi, antibacteria. It's good for eczema. It's good for itching skin. It is good for, to heal wound also and fight dandruff. So that is why I am using it. Then the next one I want to use is chamomile. Okay, and that one it helps to reduce wrinkles. It prevents stretch mark and then fed scars and heal dry skin. So I'm using them, okay, for skin care, and your skin will be very, very smooth, very smooth. Yes, this is the almighty rose heap. This is the seed of rose heap. So rose heap is too good. It's full of vitamin E, vitamin A, and C. During the winter, I'm using it with other herbs to do our winter tea. And I took some of the rose heap and clutch them because I want to get all the benefits and here I am putting all of them okay so here I have four herbs inside here I have lavender I have calendula I have chamomile and I have rose hip okay and last time I did my grapeseed oil and this time around I'm using it and this is homemade avocado oil I'm using these two oil because they are light. They are very, very good. Here is my almond oil, but I will not use it. I will use it when I will do the cream. But now that I'm about to infuse it, I just want to use avocado oil and grapeseed oil. More of this is why I prefer to do my own because I use a lot of oil and don't forget whenever you want to infuse any oil don't use fresh oil a uh, fresh herbs sorry don't use fresh herb try your best to use to use dry ones so the oil will last it will not spoil but if you use fresh one it will not last long Yes, like here, this is my first time to try fresh rose, 
flour this is rose infused oil this is my first time but this is fresh normally i use my dry rose this is the dry one the one that i dried but i want to use this because i will use it in our soap and in our cream so i will try my best to see how it will look like so now I will put it here in the hot water to infuse it but normally I will leave it for two weeks sometimes I leave them for one week uh, or sometimes one month the longer it stay the better it will infuse so I'm just infusing it here a little bit because any moment from now maybe today or tomorrow I will do our cream that's why I just want to double boil it okay this is the final stage of the oil today is the following day after double double boil i leave it the following day so it will infuse very well This cream, this oil is very, very good. If your baby is having rashes, if they are having eczema, you know, the youth, when they, are, when they are growing, they have a little stretch mark coming out. This oil also can treat it. When you are doing your soap at home, you can add this oil. When you are doing your cream, even any cream that you are using, you can buy a normal cream from the market just drop a little bit of this and mix it it's also active okay so that is my mix herb infused oil okay very very nice very good don't forget to subscribe share and like subscribe and comment subscribe join the family and support my channel okay may god bless all of you and remain blessed as always bye